Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Lisa and today we are back with another monthly favorites and this is for the month of December. So if you guys are watching this, I'm already in Vancouver probably. So I had to pre-film this. So I try to pick out the products that I've used for a really long time. I do like to save this video particularly or these series of videos for a full month review. So a lot of these products I've actually used since November just so I can still have the full month and maximize a good review. Anyway, today's video as usual well, the categories are pretty much the same. I have some jewelry, some beauty, so that includes skincare, makeup, etc. I also have a home product and I also have my own personal everyday glasses that I'm going to share with you guys. As usual, I'll start with my jewelry favorites and this month's two favorite Majuri products are One Ring, which I've been doing a lot of collections on their ring and I've also been really exploring their diamond collection. So this month I got this ring right here at the very bottom and I just stacked it with the Bold Stacker and the Diamond Solo Ring. Let me just take it off and show you guys what it looks like on its own. For the sake of fit and just some of my fingers are occupied right now, I'm putting it in my ring finger but don't get any ideas guys, I am not married. I don't think I will be for a really long time but anyway. So this is what the ring looks like alone. It's so cute and dainty. There's two little diamond pieces and it comes together and there's actually a gap in the middle. And I think that it's so cute. I actually wear it with my initial ring sometimes. So this one, and I sometimes stack it on top of that. But I find that sometimes it'll even slide the other way, which I don't even mind because you can kind of wear this ring in like two different styles. Like you can wear it just as a solid band almost and you can twist it around for the diamond. I think on certain fingers this ring is a little bit big for me so that's why I usually wear it on the middle finger or my ring finger if you know I want people to leave me alone and not like right now anyone is gonna bother me because we are in a middle of a pandemic but anyway the next majority product that I got is not actually a jewelry product but it is one of their leather bags so this is the one that I got and the reason why I picked this up is because if you guys are watching this I'm already in Vancouver but I am leaving for Vancouver Vancouver actually tomorrow. I needed something to hold my jewelry and I did have their smaller case from before. However, since then my jewelry collection has grown. That's why I kind of needed a bigger travel case. So this is the one that I got and I absolutely love it because I think it can actually work as a really great travel purse and also one for jewelry. I'm just going to show you the insides of this bag. This section here where you can hang up all your necklaces. There's also this huge pouch in the middle for whatever else you want to put. I guess it's really just for the necklaces to dangle. But if you do have some other like little things, you can also put it in there. Down here, after you flip this up, you can put all of your rings here and all of your earrings here. Lastly, there's also this little zip right here. So you can put more things in here and it's just this little pouch. And the reason why I particularly chose this one is because the other one that I have, I do love. Like I said, my collection has grown also because the size of the case is more structured. This one is flatter. So just depending on the way you like to travel and your own bags and stuff like that, this might actually be better because it's flatter. This one's a little bit more fluid in my eyes, just better if you have a bigger collection. So this is the case that I got and I really love. As usual for Majuri, I have a 10% discount with them because I partner with them every single month to show you guys all their amazing products. So make sure you follow the link down below and you guys can automatically get the 10% off, which will be applied directly at checkout. So if you guys don't see it right away, it's just probably because it's going to apply during checkout, but you can always let me know if you have any problems. If you guys haven't already and you do also like Majuri stuff, I do have two videos on my Majuri must have. So I have the first part and then also the second part that I posted recently. So you guys can check those out as well. Moving on to skincare, I have a very exciting product that 
that I want to share with you. I recently started working with the skin store and they have introduced me to this new facial cleansing device. A lot of you who are watching this video, you probably have seen this around. This is the Foreo device and it's basically another face cleansing device. Honestly, I needed another one because if you guys know me, I've been using my Clarisonic Mia 2 for years 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 however the issue is that clarisonic because i guess of covid or something recently went bankrupt and they completely shut down their company the annoying thing about clarisonic or at least the brush that i use is that you have to replace the brushes i've stocked up right before they officially shut down but over time that's gonna run out i needed another face cleansing device so the skin store i've partnered with them and i've tried this one and it's honestly pretty much the same with the added benefit of not needing to replace your bristles so it still does vibrate and I don't know if you guys can hear it but it still does vibrate and it still cleanses your face really gently so that's why I really like it oh my god I need to turn this off okay we're just gonna wait I feel like if you see this in my shower you're probably like what is that but you know it's for your face okay that's it they also have an app for the device so when you first get it you have to register your device which I think is really cool in their app you can actually set the intensity and time in seconds in which you want this device to go on for so I thought that was pretty cool that was not something that my Clarisonic had this device is called the Luna 3 the very exciting part is that I have a partnership with the skin store so if you guys are interested in buying this product you can get 25% off 25 this is better than any the four a discount or whatever so use my code lisa25 and it will give you 25% off this particular product and you guys can try it with me especially if you guys are also looking for i guess like a clarisonic replacement or just any type of facial cleanser i use this every morning and it's kind of like my way of mini exfoliating i always use a tool always this is just the new one that i've been using and i really love it the next two skincare products that i want to share with you you guys might have seen it on my instagram because i actually worked with them on a giveaway it is their time response creams i have both the eye cream and also their face cream so this is what it looks like as you guys know if you guys have seen my very intensive cleansing oil review which i'll leave right here you guys should definitely watch this especially if you don't wash your face with a cleansing oil and also last month's video i also shared another moisturizer by them that i absolutely love amore pacific is honestly one of my dream brands i absolutely love their skincare products and this one also did not disappoint with these two products you guys can get it in a gift set which you guys can buy at sephora i'll leave a picture right here for you guys but i really 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 enjoy both the eye cream which you guys know i've been obsessed with trying to like tone down my bags and i don't know if you guys can tell but like the puffiness has really really gone down it's a combination of both the eye patches that i've been using from good molecules which i'll leave a picture here i reviewed it last month i'll leave a link down below as well and this eye cream i feel like because of this my eye bags have gone inwards for sure like i've noticed a huge difference when i apply my makeup so i definitely recommend this and this is also anti-aging i really really recommend checking this out and a little bit of this product goes a really long way and it just sits so nice on my skin it also smells really good i feel like they have their own like a more pacific scent or something all their products just smell amazing definitely give these two a try i absolutely love these two products so the next skincare product is the ordinary this is the glycolic acid seven percent toning solution so this is what it looks like part of the reason why i got this product is because this product was so hyped up on tiktok so i just feel like everyone on tiktok was obsessed with this product for a while i know that a lot of people use this on their face because the purpose of this product is actually to reduce bumpiness on your skin for me personally Personally, I didn't buy it for the intention of my face so I'm not gonna give a review on that part but I have been using it to reduce the bumps on the back of my arm if you guys remember from a long time ago from one of my previous favorites videos I've been trying to find a product that can help me with my KP which I will leave the full word here because I honestly will not bother 
you're learning how to say it fully. I just know that it's called KP. It's where, especially in the back of your arms, it's like bumpy and it's red and stuff like that. I feel like a lot of Asians have it particularly, just a lot of people have it in general, but like particularly I find in Asians, this is so, so, so common. And I've been trying to find a product to help me get rid of it. This by far out of all the products I've tried, I think has helped the most. It's not clearing it a hundred percent, but it has helped to the most out of the ones I've tried so far. I am still, still looking, but the benefit of this product is that it's at a really, really good price point. It's definitely worth checking out, especially also if you have bumpiness on your face as well. I feel like this is something that you could try out both for your face and your arms. You have to be careful using this product because it is a little bit intense. So when you use this product, number one, you can't be peeling or using a lot of it at once. It is kind of like a peel-ish. It's not the most gentle on your skin. And on top of that, make sure you put on sunscreen in the areas if you're gonna, you know, be exposed to sunlight, even if you're indoors. So if you use this product, make sure you put on sunscreen if you don't already, because you already should. For me, I also try to put it on my arms because that's where I've been putting this solution. The next kind of like skincare product I've actually been using for a while and I just haven't shared it yet. So I'm gonna share it with you guys. The EOS Shave Cream. And I really like this shave cream. Sorry if it's like wet. And as you can see, I've used so much of it. That's why it's like depleted. This is the shaving cream I've been using. It doesn't lather like all your traditional shaving creams. It's really just almost like a lotion. This one's particularly for dry skin. And the reason why I really like this product is because I do have really dry skin. All the other shaving creams I've been using, I find that I definitely need to apply lotion. With this one, sometimes if I forget, I still feel like it's really smooth. It's not very harsh and drying on the skin. So I really recommend if you also have really dry skin to check this out because it leaves a really nice moisture moisturized feeling on your legs afterwards. You just have to get used to the consistency because it's not gonna lather into soap and stuff like that. Just keep that in mind. Okay, so the next few products are gonna be on makeup and it is going to be the items that I'm wearing today on my lips and on my eyebrows. A lot of you always ask me what I'm wearing on my lips and this month I have been obsessed obsessed with this combination so i'm going to tell you what it is so the first product it is the kaja heart melter and it's in the color 03 crazy for you and this is what the product looks like on the outside and you can you know just press this for more product this is what it looks like on the inside so it's like just in this really cute heart shape and if you want more product you can just you know click the pen and it will disperse some more product i put this as the first layer for my lips and then the second layer I have my trusty Charlotte Tilbury lip gloss but instead of the color pillow talk which actually will also work but that's just been a long time favorite of mine but lately I've been loving the shade rosy glow so this is the lip combination of both of these products and I just I love it, you guys. It goes really well with my skin tone. If you guys have a similar skin tone, I definitely recommend checking out those two combinations. The last product that is also on my face is on my eyebrows, and this is another Charlotte Tilbury product. So this is the Legendary Brows, and you guys, I'm not kidding you when I tell you I've been trying to try this product for so long because every time I try to try this product, they run out or something. So I finally got to try it, and I'm using the color Supermodel Brow that's the color like supermodel so as you guys know from a few months ago i reviewed the anastasia beverly hills brow gel which looks like this and ever since i discovered this product it has absolutely changed my life and the way i do my brows because i just no longer understand why anyone tries to use a pencil and takes forever like you should use a pencil to clean up but not do the meat of your brows because number one takes up so much time and number two it's just so much easier to use it so the anastasia beverly hills one this is their applicator and this is how thick it is which honestly this is just really going to be up to preference but after trying the legendary brows i also love it this one is a lot more precise look at how thin the brush is so thin. I would say that the two main differences is number one, the applicator on this one is a little bit thicker. This one is a lot more precise if that's what you're looking for. For this one, I just use it for the meat of the brows. For this one, I actually feel like I can use it to even also kind of like draw it a little bit. So I don't need to use a pencil as much with this one. And then the second thing is that this one has a more tacky effect. So if you guys like that really natural looking brow, it's been such a trend this year where, you know, your hairs are just like really sticking up and sticking out and stuff like that I would recommend this one a little bit more because it has that tackiness to it if you guys do 
not like that look and you just like the color and stuff like that, then I would go with the Anastasia Beverly Hills one. Okay, so the next product I wanna review is my own glasses. So these are the glasses that I've been wearing all month and I feel like I've been getting a lot of questions on them on TikTok, on my Instagram and stuff like that. It's like to the point where I've literally added a highlight on my Instagram explaining to you guys where I got it. So make sure you check it out if you wanna know exactly where. These are just by the brand Gucci and I needed new glasses because first of all, my old glasses, the Chloe ones, which were also very popular, I must add, they didn't have the blue light function. I've been working on my computer absolutely nonstop. So I just needed 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 to get the blue light function the second thing is that one time the nose of my chloe glasses broke and since then i was like super disabled i needed to wear contacts or else i could not see for the life of me so it kind of taught me that i should just have a pair of spare glasses just in case anything should happen you know what i mean that's kind of why i ended up just getting another pair of glasses but i think next year i'm gonna look towards potentially getting lasik so that's pretty much on the glasses i will also leave like a little style number here for you guys to see but if you guys want to know exactly where i got it make sure you check out my instagram highlights i got it from a store in burnaby in vancouver basically burnaby it's called sun optical and the owners are amazing i love supporting small businesses so i really recommend checking them out as well so the last product of the day because i feel like this video is getting really long now is the keurig frother i typically drink my coffee black but on some occasions i like to be a little bit fancy and not just drink black coffee and this frother this makes me sound so lazy i've seen the pens where you just like you know click it and then it'll froth for you but this one's so low maintenance you just pour the milk in you press the button and it'll literally stop when it's done and it's been a game changer this one also on top of the frothing abilities it can also warm up your milk that's it so if you guys you know need to like drink warm milk at night or whatever to help you sleep this can do both options if you guys are looking for that or like a Christmas gift for your parents. Actually, no. What am I talking about? Christmas is going to be over by the time this video comes out. If you're looking for a gift in general for your family, I highly recommend. But anyway, that's pretty much it for the video today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I also apologize for my hair. I actually just like clipped it up randomly instead of having my usual down do, but I'm kind of digging it. So I don't know. Off topic, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.